as far as Bridges One ever did. We never pushed further west. Frankly, it's a miracle we kept that distro center running. Anyway, you're almost at Edgenock City. Your final destination, where Amelie should be waiting. Smile, Sam. Only one more not to go. One last time to put that Cupid to use. Though you'll need another component to finish the job. Regardless, the nationwide network will serve as your ticket home. Just bear in mind that by bringing Edge not online, you'll likely be revealing Emily's location to Higgs. You'll need to get to her before he does. Head to your private room and get your gear sorted. When you're ready to go, we'll give you what you need. Make sure not to leave the distro center without taking the order. nearly complete. Just one more knot to go. And then America will be whole again. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. Amelie. I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach. The one where I was born. Higgs will never find me here. He can't. So don't worry. Get the last Cupid to Edgenot City and finish what we started. I'll meet you in your room at the distro center when it's all over. There's something you need to know, Sam. I've kept things from you. Worn a mask for the longest time. Everything Higgs said about me is true. I could end it all. Us. Mankind. Extinction. That's what I am. How does that even mean? But it's not what I want to be. All I want is for you and me and everyone in this world to be whole. Promise you'll stop me. Don't let me end it all. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Amelie? Amelie! Collect it at the terminal and take it to Edgenot City. 
Luckily for us, the automated systems at the distro center there still seem to be operational. So once the key is entered, it should automatically interface with the backbone network. A word of caution, Sam. The activation key has a unique identifier. If anything happens to it, you can't just print a new one. It's one of a kind. Irreplaceable. And for the love of all that's holy, don't lose it. And don't go breaking it either. You hear me, Sam? If ever there was a delivery not to fuck up, it's this one. We're all counting on you. with not network.
got it, Sam. The Cairo network now spans the entire continent. Our nation is whole again. Reborn as the United Cities of America. If terrorists or whoever else strike at us now, even if they succeed in destroying a knot, the network will endure. Everything passes through the beach now, and the beach will keep us together. But we can't rest yet. You still have one more job to do, Sam. A new nation needs a new leader. And only one woman has what it takes to succeed Bridget Strand. A woman destined from birth to inherit this legacy. Emily. She's out there. And she needs your help. Bring her home, Sam. And keep an eye out for Higgs. He could be zeroing in on her as we speak. Now that Edgenot City's linked up, she should be getting ready to head to your private room. So check yourself in, and sit tight. Your work is great. for me. I knew you would. Sam, it's me. Homily? Density increasing rapidly. Contact imminent. Combat preparations strongly advised. Repeat. Contact with unidentified entity imminent. Sam, a complete chiral network spread all across America. 
connecting all them precious little knots. I got the whole world in the palm of my hands. Five. We've had five mass extinctions, each caused by an extinction entity. And now it's time for number six. Now, I'm not talking about the death of a few dozen species, no. This? This is the granddaddy of them all. BT antimatter voiding out all life as we know it. And it wouldn't be possible without a Boy Scout like you willing to make us whole again. <laughs> what do you say? Come on! Time to meet your ender. Homily? into a single shore. And then... will come an extinction like no other. More massive than any before it. The last. This is my purpose. What the hell they do to you? nothing more than a prelude. Surely you figured it out. Doom? People like us? She's the source of it all! Nightmares that haunt us, the visions of an inescapable future. Sound familiar? In doomsday, Sam! Fuck you! Sam. Don't you get it? You can speed this up or slow it down, but you cannot stop what we've started. If you beat me, you can't save her. It's all this. This is a done deal. They come and get me.
I'm a lead. I'm a lead. She's fine. Extinction's on hold for now. Let her go! All that for repatriating. What a waste. Well, we'll pick this up when you're done dying. Heads! I'll see you on the beach for the grand finale. Keep it safe.
Peaks wants to connect the knots of your network with Emily's Beach. So it's pretty clear where they went. So how do we get there? I can't. But you and Emily have a strong connection. You've been to her beach plenty of times, right? Mm. You can make the jump. You gonna come through for me? I'll try to take him alive. Promise me, I'm the one who finishes him off. Good. Then I'll help you get where you need to go. I can send us both at once. But I'll be right behind you. I thought you said you couldn't go to her. I can't. But I can go to you. By the ties that bind us together. The Dreamcatcher will lead you to her. And then? The Misanga will lead me to you. You're going in like that? Yeah, I don't need a weapon. I'm not gonna take Lou either. What? Do you have anything to eat? Oh. <laughs> Got you hooked, huh? <laughs> Sam, be careful. Worst comes to worst. Take care of Lou, all right? this to work. I'll have to touch you. Close your eyes. Now picture Amelie in her beach. You love her, right? You love her. There it is. Emily? Sam? What are you doing here? You ready to end this? Before the end of everything? I'm supposed to do keep the extinction entity safe until the slate is wiped clean. There's no stopping the sixth extinction. No matter what you, me, or anybody else does, humanity has a few hundred thousand years left tops. Why don't we just cut to the chase? Accept our fate. Let the creatures before us. We all know what's coming. I delay the inevitable. Those of us with dooms, her, 
We're all bound here for a reason. We are all of us a part of the Death Strand. In this place, this fucking beach. There's no repatriation here, no. One of us dies, that's it. He goes to the other side. Nice, huh? Lucky loser gets to put an end to this rinse and repeat bullshit once and for all. So, no BTs, no void outs, no bullshit. Just a good old fashioned boss fight. Stick versus rope, gun versus strand. One more end for the end. One last. Game over. Sam, this was only ever gonna end one way. So come on! Touchy feely there, Mr. Often Fossum Phobia. <laughs> well, congratulations. You won the game.
Too bad you didn't stop shit. Well, get on with it. Guess I left a lasting impression. I'm fragile, but I'm not that fragile. This time you're the one who's going to break. Is that right? I think you'll find our bond is made of stronger stuff. Already broken. What the fuck? I'm Higgs. I'm the particle of God that permeates all existence. What are you? Honey, you ain't nothing but damaged goods. You are damaged goods. There you go. That's promised. Thanks. I brought you a metaphor. Take it with you. Tell the lie first with Porter Syndrome what happens when you hide behind the mask. No. You keep it. It's better they hear it from the woman herself. One more thing. Your little one managed to bring it here by picturing it as equipment. You mind? Babysitting sucks. So where should I send you? Back east? He doesn't need your help. He's got the Chiral Network. And he's got me. We can jump east together. Lucky him. We appreciate everything you've done for us. We really do. But we're good for now. Besides, I'm sure they need you back at Fragile Express. Yeah. We're better to scoop up all the pieces and put them back together. I wouldn't want to settle for anything less than perfection. Fragile. We're square. Nothing owed. 
Nothing left to say. So long, Sam. Come on. Let's go. We still have work to do. Do you still believe in me? Even without Higgs, I am a walking time bomb. I can end it all just like that. But what I want, what I have always wanted was to be a part of it. For us all to be one. What? Tell me the truth. Was this all for you or all for Bridget? This is for our country. For our future, that is the truth. There's something that you need to know, Sam. When you were back east, I slipped out of here and I went to visit you. What? Did you lie? Fuck me. You have any idea what it took for me to get here? You wouldn't have come if I hadn't. You didn't care about America or bridges. But we did know one thing you did care about. Something you were willing to cross a continent for. A reason to build the UCA. It was Die Hard Man's idea. Great. So I'm Mario and you're Princess Peach. <laughs> Are you right? I never gave a shit about this country. I have no ties to anything or anyone but you. I'm so sorry, Sam. But it all worked out in the end. Well, I guess that's taken care of. I know you have questions, but can you save them for after? Sure. Let's go home. How do we do it? Do we jump like fragile? No. The beach goes the whole way. We run together. Run? Yeah. Like Mario and Princess Beach. Right here, okay? Mm -hmm.
Remember. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Startled you. Where am I? Back east of the tar belt. Your private room. You have Amelie to thank for that. Where is she? We don't know. She didn't head back east? No, but after she saw to you, she contacted HQ and left us a message. Saying what? I'm going to finish what Bridget started. Just that, and then gone. Bridget? I saw Bridget on the beach. Sam, please. You yourself burned her body, remember? She wouldn't have remained on the beach, couldn't have. Not even if it was her daughter's beach. Check the logs. You've got them, don't you? Sorry, we didn't get any of it. The only record we have is the one in your head. What else do you remember? That guy was there too. Cliff. He took Die Hardman hostage. The director? That part you believe? Well... It would explain why we haven't heard from him for so long. I always suspected him. But now I'm starting to piece together a different narrative. Something's been bothering me, you see. We've been operating on the assumption that Higgs was controlling Cliff. But that can't possibly be correct. Because Higgs is gone. And Cliff is still causing trouble. You think Cliff is the mastermind? Yes. He's likely holding Amelie and the director captive on the beach. And that's where I'm going. Wait a minute. Where's Fragile? She's safe here with us. But so long as you're over there, she won't be able to send you to the beach. What? Uh, you must understand, Sam. While you were unconscious, the situation changed quite a bit. We'll explain everything, I, I promise. But first, you should rest. All right? Fuck rest. I'm going back to that beach. And little Lou doesn't need a break either, I take it? Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> Sam, you helped us extend the chiral network from coast to coast. And you dealt with Higgs, the UCA's enemy number one. 
We couldn't have come this far without you, but there is still one final step. We have to swear in a new president and establish a functioning government. Only then will America be whole again. Why don't you save that shit for someone who cares? I've done my part, fuck America. We've got bigger problems now. I hear you, Sam. Government is the least of our concerns at this point. Cliff has Amelie, which means there may not be anything left to govern come tomorrow, if tomorrow comes at all. Then why aren't we out there doing something about it? I don't care what she is, only that we get her back. Right you are. Rescuing Amelie and averting the sixth extinction are one and the same, but neither will be possible unless you first come back east. We are in no position to give you orders, of course, but believe me when I say it is the only way. Sam, everyone's here but you. Fragile transported us back to headquarters. You okay? Uh, never been better. Oh. Oh. Delivering so many people in such a short amount of time is new. Mama, no, no Lochner. Yeah, I'm here too. Figured I should lend a hand. We're all waiting for you, Sam. No way in hell am I hauling myself all the way back there. Come on, Fragile. Let's do this. I can't, Sam. And not just because I'm a wreck. It isn't safe to use the beaches to move people anymore. Chiral spikes have become far more frequent, possibly as a result of expanding the network nationwide. Too many beaches sharing the same space, wires get crossed and so forth. You can see the toll it's taking on the network itself. With things the way they are, it's too dangerous to risk jumping through a beach. Even if I reach a beach, there's no telling where I'll come out on the other side, and I could get stuck in there. That's why I can't go to you either. But if I could get to the entrance of the beach, I should be able to get you there. The beaches are still there after all. I can personally attest to that. So yeah, you will need to hold yourself all the way back here. But once you have, I promise I'll take you to Amelie, straight to her beach. The two of you share a very special connection. Your dream catcher, her kipu. They are no mere trinkets. They are singular, irreplaceable totems, embodiments of your shared memories. Two sides of a coin, the price of entry to her beach. Dream catchers are a product of Native American tradition, that of the Ojibwe people, to be precise. They were said to ward off nightmares, to alter one's dreams. If dooms is indeed Amelie's gift to us, her shared dream of our future, Perhaps your totem is an invitation to change it, a test, challenging you to find hope amid their hopelessness. While we await your return, I'll search the beach for Amelie and the director. I doubt my ties to them are strong enough, but better that than sitting around doing nothing. I'll see if I can't find something in the records on the three of them. Maybe they're more connected than we know. We're waiting for you. The way home should be easier, right? Hurry back east. You already know the way. And when you get here... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Finders keepers. Now, get out of there and make sure you head east towards Lake Knot City. There's no cargo to deliver this time. Or rather, you're the cargo. That's the mission. Gross.
Copy? I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. To recap, Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative, whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam.
Sam, you're not going to believe what I found. It's about the BB experiments, their true purpose. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand, supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void outs. Any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out, that's just a cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. It was probably Amelie herself who installed them as she moved west with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan, making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again, but I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. The chiral network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch. Sam, I see you're coming up on Lake Knot. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. This is pure speculation, but I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody, and after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the President, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? But just because President Strand is dead, doesn't mean his hate died with her. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges, towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the Director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding, to bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. There's no time to lose. You have to save her and the director. Though I still don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place. There must be more to their relationship. I'll see what I can find. Got a moment, Sam? It's about the director. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Well, I looked, and I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was. Which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network, our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single massive seam. Should this process continue, 
there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world, bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach, one that exists on a higher plane, that was responsible for setting this process in motion? And what if the beach in question were none other than Armelies? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelies Beach, to exploit its power over every other beach, and trigger the last stranding. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions, which is why you have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. Using the chiral network in Amelie's beach to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding, he'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. You've got to stop him, Sam. You've got to make the jump to Amelie's beach as soon as possible. Get in and get her back. It's our only hope. If you can't, then we're all doomed.
Ich mal vor. Baby, we're getting out of here. I promise. Give me back my baby. Are you cut it hunger? Who are you? 
Are you the father? They told me your name was Sam Porter. When you were Sam Bridges. My bridge to the future. to the future. and again when the brass sent us into the jaws of hell it was you that brought us home You okay? I reviewed your logs. It looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero. Not far from Port Nod City. How'd I wind up here then? Remember Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. I think Cliff might be Lou's father. He said, give me back my BB. Impossible. Cliff was born. He gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. It didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. It felt like... Like he just wanted to talk. But you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. Them and Bridget. Funny you should say that. 
I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. This message is insurance, in case something happens to me. For Bridget's eyes only, and I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Emily. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Well, Emily's a blank slate too. No past. No record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts, I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh, shook her hand, touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Emily was with the first, Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes, Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We've touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you, I've met her in person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes, but on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. Now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Emily was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, it doesn't add up, does it? There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Emily is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Emily is Emily? Hell, for all I know, the EE -E theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us. Which means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm gonna stop what she started. 
by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers, nothing special. Don't have dooms, I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying, I had never tried it. Yeah. I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. She's calling for me. Bridges, don't let me down. After he recorded this, the director jumped to the beach. Or rather, Amelie summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. Huh. It's so obvious to me now. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lakna, it won't be long before it's completely unusable. So all our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, Seth. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I need to tell you something. I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach. Didn't take much to make him talk. He say why he betrayed you? He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist void outs, the whole extinction agenda, Amelie was behind it all. Like hell she was. I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. He's turned on me after he met Amelie. At first he was looking to expand his territory and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. Amelie gave Higgs his power? Yep. She made him her homo demons. What about Bridget? You could have tell me what she was doing on the beach? You got an answer for that, too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But he said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod, and there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie and her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff, Higgs, the director, all three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this EE -E really? Is it Bridget? Is it Amelie? All I can say is that the answers are on the beach. What she wants and why. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. Oh. She's waiting for you on the beach. Hurry back east.
Sam, the connection's unstable, so I'll keep this short. We have a job for you. Fragile's condition is deteriorating. If she slips into a coma, there's a chance her soul might become stranded on the beach. She needs cryptobiotes fast. Luckily for us, Fragile Express keeps a stockpile there in Port North City. So we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area. All the details are on the terminal upstairs. Please, Sam. This is critical.
been in a coma for a while now. But with all these crypto biomes you brought, we should be able to bring her round. And with any luck, it'll only take a few more to get her back on her feet. You did well, Sam. Sam. You're back. It must have been one hell of a journey, especially on your own. But now the whole team is together again. The whole team? Die Hard men too? Too much traveling to and from beaches in such a short span. Chiral matter contaminated her cells effectively causing jet lag on a molecular level. Because of that, her homeostatic mechanisms were shaken. Don't worry, she's not in any danger, but she needs some rest. So where's the director? He's being looked after in another room. Bridges personnel found him lying outside the isolation ward, similar to when you came back from Cliff's Beach. <sighs> Even after decontamination, she needed more and more time to recover. Sam, you made it. Hungry. Thanks. Looks like you need me after all. Who'd have thought? Anyway, clock's ticking. Am I right? Sam's here. The Great Deliver, the only one who can reach Amelie's Beach. Uh, oh. You're in no condition to do this. It's not fair to you or Sam. Uh, um, in my own search for Amelie's Beach, I have come to realize something extraordinary. If beaches were likened to a multiverse, hers would appear to exist on a higher plane than ours. I can walk the beaches of others, but hers is beyond my reach. It's invisible, <laughs> inaccessible, even to fragile, I fear. Uh, imagine it as a circulatory system, if you will. Each of our beaches is a single capillary, but Armelie's beach is the heart that pumps blood to the rest of us. Capillaries are subordinate to the greater whole. A whole governed by the heart, which gives direction, which dictates flow, which dictates everything, controls everything. Don't you see? She is in control. You may be able to travel against the flow and reach her, but having done so, if she does not wish to let you go, if she wishes to keep you, she can. Fragile and Die Hardman broke free from her beat, didn't they? I don't think it was any different from what happened to you. I didn't get out because I wanted to. I was forced out, repatriated, if you will, by her. Forced out? Why? This is only a theory, but... She wants you, wants you to go to her. That's her final wish, don't you think? So that's it, huh? Amelie's the EE -E and this is her endgame. 
just so we're clear, if I want to stop the last stranding and come back in one piece, I need to go to her beach and talk her out of it. That about right? Correct. As cliche as it sounds, you're our only hope. Though quite frankly, I doubt even you can change her mind. If you can't make her see reason, you'll have to kill her. And if you kill her... You'll save the world, but you'll be stranded outside of it. Forever. Well, make it official then. You ready to deliver the package? I'll talk to her. Maybe she'll listen. But with the shape the world's in, it'll only be delaying the inevitable. Still. If it buys us time to try and build something better, a new lease on life, at least for a little bit. Well, I can think of one woman who made the most of a chance like that. Nothing lasts forever, not even the world. But we gotta keep it going as long as we can, right? Patch the holes, change the parts, all that. So we can say we had a good run, that we lived. I thought you didn't like having to handle things with care. Because it was hard enough keeping my own shit together. Back when we met at the cave, the only thing I cared about was making it to the next sunrise. Sure as hell didn't care about America or the future. I was living a lie, hung up on past regrets. I was broken. But somewhere along the way, I started changing. I started meeting people that made me think that maybe it wasn't all bad. People that put their faith in tomorrow, and in me. That kept the lights on, and waited for hope to arrive. So I gotta deliver, for their sake. Even if it means you never come back? Fucked if I do, fucked if I don't, right? Still mother east of Port Knot City. Kids done enough. No more. All right. I'll do my best to nurse our little one back to health. Concentrate. Help me look for Emily. Reach for her, Sam. Feel her. I know you love her. You love her! There you 
I'm a lead. Bridges falling down, falling down, falling down. London bridges falling down, my fair lady. The last stranding has already begun. Amelie? You're too late. What took you so long? Your voice. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. I've been waiting for you. Right here, ever since. You were supposed to stop me. Stop all of this. Bridget? Yes. It's me, Sam. Where's Amelie? Where she's always been. Nowhere. My daughter, Samantha America Strand, doesn't exist. Amelie doesn't exist? Not in your world. I'm sorry, Sam. to wear a mask for so long. Amelie and Bridget are both a part of me. What's that supposed to mean? Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. Listen. Just listen. Do you understand, Sam? Amelie and Bridget, those are just names. What I am is an extinction entity. So, knowing what you know now, you have two choices. I was getting shot, one of them. You wouldn't come back if it happened here, you know. 
You'd be straight on to the afterlife. But no. It's not one of them. Killing you would be a terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Consumed by an explosion. A big bang. So, that brings us to your first choice. Do nothing. Stay here with me and bear witness to the very end. Just watch it burn. Together. The last flame winks out. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's not like the world has long left anyway. Then there's the second choice. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. Like this Kipu. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. The very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, Perhaps you can stop it from spreading. You might just prevent the last stranding. And mankind will live to die another day. And it doesn't have to end here. But it does. The beach is doomed no matter what. One look ought to tell you that. <sighs> Which is why we must sever our connection. The end. The end of the Death Stranding. You can't stop the inevitable. The sixth extinction will happen either today or tomorrow. You can either end it with dignity, quick, clean, and in a flash, or you can struggle in vain, knowing full well what's waiting come the finish. Those are your choices. You kept it all this time. Perhaps you still have a chance to stop this nightmare. You brought the world together. You have the right to decide. Pull the rope or cut the noose. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. But wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not?
ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. But wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not? us whole again and when the time comes you'll have to stop me you are the only one who can promise you'll remember Sam I'll be waiting for you on the beach I remember you knew you always knew I did and I didn't I had so many dreams of the future I didn't know which ones to trust. Which is why I decided to share them with you and the others. But to connect the dots, to make sense of everything, you need perspective. You need time. Time has no meaning to me. I am not a line. I am a single point. Which is why all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Our nightmares are your dreams. You found the common thread. The strand that links them together. And you did that the only way possible live life one day at a time. of you out. Shut yourself in. Come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do is try to spare you the worst. Why do you have to stay on the beach? Sam, I am the beach. And I must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Alone? That's what an EE does. <sighs> if I had just done my job, none of this would have happened. But I... I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So, that's what I did. Sounds like hell. <laughs> but you and the others came together, connected, 
and you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the Big Five, life rebelled. They fought back, evolved in order to survive. The extinction isn't just an ending. It's an opportunity. And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. Even if we aren't together, we will always be connected. Goodbye, Sam. A gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play. about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again, and again, and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. Like this one. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding as I have today. First operation. I was only twenty. I 
I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. But the moment I came around, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Bridget, my ha, in that one. Amelie, my ka, in this. Somehow, the two of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Only Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Look. Amelie. Am is French for soul. A soul that's a lie. There was no Amelie. Only me and the beach. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. the beach was connected to the world of the dead, which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself, including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers, if only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So, I started researching bridge babies. Children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions? would tell me how to stop the Sixth. I founded Bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little E.E. -E. And then, just like that, my ha was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. 
You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve. Like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow, life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know, I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser, inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. Can't be over Can't already. Be over already. already. Ready. Ready. I pulled the trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are. You want to go home? Let's go home. I wanted... I wanted to set you free from death once and for all. It's okay. I know the way. But in doing so, I upset the fundamental balance between life and death. I just wanted to save you. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. 
It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, the Death Stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE doesn't have that option for itself, but in my nightmares, I saw another future, one that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation.
This is a bug. This is a bug. Right? 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 right. 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 A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. You were never abandoned. And you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? You have to live. Give up. You're still connected. Too long have we lived as strangers to one another, divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. 
Today we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation. A new nation for a new world. The United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another, where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. Now, the old ways die hard, but I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part of that past an enduring shadow, a constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament, not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together, to the bonds between us, to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha America Strand, suffer everything in their pursuit of hope that we the people might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story, one whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. America still needs that hero, that person without whom we would not be here. Now, the name is unimportant, but you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, we will be... Going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great! Now, wouldn't you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy, which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hmm. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A month on the outside. How long on the inside? 
Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lochna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The President must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Hmm. I'm away. She said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. Oh, Sam. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common-law wife. Lisa Bridges? Uh, uh, now, Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it by all accounts. Later appointed as an aide to the President, who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Turns out some people die harder than others, though. Dear John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the chiral network. We restored the old records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The President's got some dirty, dirty laundry. I don't trust him, but I'll work with him if that's what it takes. We'll talk later. Sam. I don't expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? I killed Captain Clifford Unger. I would tell you I did it for America. For love of country. But I didn't. I did it for her. Because I loved her with all my heart. She was everything to me. Everything. Now, I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. Or the mask. Please, let me finish. He... The captain saved my life. You know why they call me Die Hartman. Because he wouldn't let me die. 
He brought my sorry ass back home every time. And I loved him as much as I loved her. <laughs> and when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me. To make it right. And why shouldn't he? <laughs> why didn't he? He couldn't save his, his kid, his baby. And that's what brought him back. I guess when he's he saw I was trying to do my part for America. He remembered who he was, and he forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! There is no atoning for what I've done. Dad, God! Yo! <laughs> is the next best thing. Maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason. One last time. He wanted me to do this. To keep on being Die Hardman. No. He didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. Thank you, Sam. Hey, Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. The decommissioning order finally came through. Can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. I thought you might want to take care of it. You could try taking Lou out of the pot just to see what happens. That would be in direct contravention of an executive order. And there are laws about that kind of thing, now that we're a nation. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But 
If the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. Not me. All right. I'll go to the incinerator. Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, You'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. Right, absolutely. Weather. Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry, I won't get mixed up with any terrorist this time. UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. So I let him choose. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Well, fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile, but not, not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> Want to come work for me? Could use a man like you. The world's still broken. Same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people, with us. Everything I touch, I lose. Sam!
guess we're here. You still with me, Lil? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. Thanks for everything. Second, all this is over, I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. Check then. They don't want a repeat of last year. The void out in Manhattan. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were the husband. This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. Is this a woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me? I have a duty to protect our country. Lies are an unfortunate necessity. The President gave me the highest level access privileges. I've used them to manipulate the security system. We have five minutes before it resets, sir. Five minutes to talk. Off the record. Take BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. I'm sorry. You were my commanding officer, but I swore an oath to the president to protect her and the country at all costs. Now, if she orders me to do something, I have to do it. I have to. But I served under you first. And your family doesn't deserve this. Any of this. Why are you helping me? If they catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Back then I thought I was invincible. I thought I was some kind of action hero. But I'm not the hero. You are, sir. You're the reason I'm still alive. And it's past time I paid that debt.
They're moving your son to a new facility tomorrow. You'll never see him again. He'll serve as the foundation of a new communications network. A sacrifice for a nation that no longer exists. I wrote down everything you need to know. It was the only way to keep it off the system. Burn it when you're done. The rest is up to you, sir. This belongs to you, sir. Now, I can't terminate your wife's life support from inside her room. The system won't allow it. So, this is the only other option. The alarm is set to go off if she flatlines. I've rigged the system to spoof her vitals. But you won't have long. Five minutes, Tops. Don't hesitate, sir. This is the only chance you'll get. Sorry, Lisa. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. I promise you. I promise you.
just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it.
I'm sorry, Lisa. I screwed it up. I've ruined everything. This room is off limits. No one goes in. But he's in there, sir. I saw him. You saw him. Now check the other way. Go! Yes, sir. No. Open it up. He's inside. Move, dumbass. Bibi. Don't worry. It's okay. I'll always be with you. See the sunset. The day is ending Let that yawn out There's no pretending I will hold you And protect you So let me
Captain. I need you to hand it over. Shoot him, John. Let it go. Please. Shoot him. I gave you an order. Shoot him. You told me your name was Sam Porter. But you're Sam Bridges. My son. My bridge to the future. Without you, I was just like any other cliff. A dead end. No way forward. Nothing but an obstacle. Looking on at the world people like you were trying to build. Dividing people was the only thing I was ever good at. That'd be me too.
days as a BB are over, now that his connection to the other side has been severed. It was me who cut the cord. So, yes. A deathless repatriate in the world of the living. Should we decommission him? In a manner of speaking. Take him out of the pod. I'll raise him as my own.
Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Well, look who's awake. Morning, Sam. You'll be happy to hear your vitals have stabilized, and that you're well on your way to recovery. Ah, not that it's your fault, but what I wouldn't give to trade places. We're all stuck in the president's office, working like dogs to get everything ready in time for the inauguration. But at least one of us is still free as a bird. You should head out, make the most of it. Could even do some orders if you... You may recall it was raining buckets back when you left for Amelie's beach. We took a real beating at the time, but we've done our best to service the structures and vehicles in the area. So you know, any cargo that was stored in your private locker at a damaged facility should have been transferred to your private locker here at this distro center. Anyway, busy or not, we'll still be on the end of the line if you need us. And if you want some alone time, we should be able to manage for now. Just make sure you're back in time for the big day, all right? See you then. Hey, Sam. You sure you don't have any unfinished business? <laughs>